Okay, uh, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Yoon Park from Bloco and Argo. Uh, currently, I'm leading an R&D team in London to develop Argo hub, hold, and marketplace. Uh, today, I'm really glad to share Argo project with you guys in here because it's the first time in the US. So <laughs> it's really exciting. Uh, Argo, the Argo project is an open source project uh, to make an enterprise level hybrid blockchain and build a blockchain platform with ecosystem. Before uh, starting the running more uh, my presentation, uh, let me explain the blockchain business. So, um, as you guys know, uh, the blockchain is a new computing platform with uh, one new feature that has never existed before. This is a trust. So uh, this is really exciting for, especially for developers, because uh, you can make a, you can make a new, uh, new applications with a new opportunity. So uh, such as monies or. Uh, Loss or contract and more. So uh, blockchain is awesome. Everybody say awesome. So I said awesome. Uh, but please let me ask you one question. Can you make a software? Can you make a blockchain software currently? Uh, you don't have to answer this, but uh, when you make a blockchain software, you should know two things. The first thing is technology, of course. So consensus algorithms, uh, Fed protocol, uh, market tree, uh, you know, the side chain, smart contract, whatever. And second thing is uh, businesses. I didn't explain uh, the, what the blockchain business is well enough in previous slides, but uh, in order to make a blockchain software, you need to understand all blockchain businesses' challenges, uh, like a uh, you know, uh, token economy, uh, exchange market, incentivizations, and you know, market making, and so on. So, as a developer, you need to know about this business. My answer is yes, yes. So, uh, if you want to make a blockchain software, you need to follow uh, these a lot of steps. There's, there are 18 steps, but uh, let's simplify for for into four steps. First, you need to design an application. It means you need to, uh, how to use a blockchain, you need to decide. And second is configure the blockchain. It means you need to find a blockchain or you need to build, make your own blockchain. And next one is, of course, develop, test your application. And last thing is, Deploy your application to public. That is, you know, you need to earn money, right? So you need to deploy them. But uh, for every step, you will meet a lot of problems, uh, such as you know, programming bugs or executing errors or uh, uh, operating faults. Um, as you guys know, all program, well, all program starts from human, and we are human, so. We cannot escape from these problems. That means you need to handle these problems accordingly. But how? The problem is how. Nowadays, many uh, many open source communities uh, have been, uh, you know, open source community trying to uh, solve similar problems using tools, frameworks, and platforms. Um, unfortunately, in a blockchain world. Uh, these kind of efforts are slightly, you know, slow and not enough yet. So, Argo, we are trying to, you know, we are taking this uh, to the next level. So, um, the following question I assume is, can we do this? Uh, most developers of Argo are working for Bloco, uh, including me. Bloco has helped more than 55 real customers for four years to develop their enterprise uh, blockchain software uh, using CoinStack. This CoinStack is uh, Bloco's uh, blockchain software solutions we made, and then CoinStack is a mother of Argo, of course. So we have a lot of experience 
and we know what enterprise wants, and we know what developers need. So we are developing from the protocol level, uh, which is Argo Chain, and up to the service level, uh, which is Argo Hub and Marketplace. And also we are developing a platform, framework, libraries, and tools. Uh, as, yeah, so we want to try to, uh, we try to help blockchain developers. And also we want to contribute developers' community. So we are building an ecosystem uh, for an open source community and of course with an open source communities. So now let's get back to the four steps cycle. We need a blockchain. You need the blockchain to make your software, right? So two things, two, two options. One, choose an existing blockchain or fork their source and then make your own blockchain. And not, is it easy or not? Uh, I cannot judge. Uh, I believe, I personally believe, or smart contract, the apps, or uh, blockchain software cannot, sorry, uh, cannot run on one blockchain network. It is possible, but practically it is inefficient. So I recommend, all times I recommend, make your own blockchain for your own application. So one application, one blockchain, like a microservice. It is really good, but configuring a blockchain is not that easy, it's a little bit annoying. So we are making Argo Hub. The Argo Hub is an interface to help developers to make a new blockchain uh, easily. So developers or administrators will be able to uh, make a new blockchain uh, with a safe and stable infrastructure from our IT provider partners. So these fault tolerant in infrastructures are provided by our, our uh, orchestration and provisioning technology. We call it Argo Hold. Argo Hold is an uh, orchestration system to manage uh, our partners' infrastructure and also to provide their uh, infrastructure safely, stably to blockchain customers, to developers. So, when developers request making a new blockchain through Hub, then Argo whole system will find the best node in a, in, a, in, in a infrastructure and then install and deploy a blockchain implementation. So Hub and Hold will configure a new blockchain uh, environment uh, automatically. Unlike a traditional cloud vendors, the hubs Hub service will find the best blockchain nodes uh, from multiple node providers through the whole system. So it means it is a decentralized infrastructure. So no one can control your blockchain. No one can shut down your blockchain. We promise immutability to our uh, customers' uh, blockchain network. But uh, you don't need to worry about the management site. Uh, the hub and hold also uh, you know, take care of your blockchain uh, automatically as a block bo black box. And also you don't need to worry about the security problem, privacy problem, uh, because our node providers will not know which user blockchain uh, running in their infrastructure. And all node providers will not, uh, will not concern about that. All node providers will work together for the hold. So now let's develop uh, your blockchain software. Um, in, in, a blockchain soft, in, in blockchain, the business logic is a smart contract. So you need to learn how to uh, make and test and deploy it, right? So we, so we provide the Lua language. Uh, as a smart contract, uh, which has been uh, used over a few years for uh, block with Blockos customers already. So Lua language is a quite simple and dynamic uh, language. So uh, it's really, really easy to learn. And also, uh, you know, over 32,000 developers are actively using SQL uh, in 
for uh, data handling. So that's the reason we decide, decided two years ago uh, supporting SQL and the relational database as one of the uh, state database. So we have two databases as a state database, RDB and key value storage. But unfortunately in Lua, uh, it's really hard to uh, you know, use two different storage if efficiently. And internally, it's really op hard to optimize them, optimize uh, customers' smart contract. So we decide, we decide make a new uh, smart contract language. We call it ASCAL. Uh, this language will provide, the, you know, the uh, more efficient way to use both storage, both database, and we will optimize your smart contract internally ef effectively. Uh, we call it Haskell, but it seems like a Haskell, but no worry about that. Many developers will use Haskell, we expect, so it'll be fine. And also we provide uh, tools to develop, test, and deploy your smart contract. So we call it Argo Ship. Uh, Argo Ship is a, a package management tool, and then it's really, it's, it, it is really essential part for a package management service later. And also we provided uh, SDK. Currently we are uh, supporting Java, JavaScript, and then Python model. And then let's move on about the de uh, deploying part. Unfortunately, all smart contract uh, cannot, uh, is not upgradable. So, uh, because you know, smart contract is also a transaction in a blockchain, so it means it's immutable, right? So, we, that's the reason we provide a smart contract directory service, because users, customers wants to control their version and then uh, manage their version. So you can call the last version or the stable version through a smart contract directory service. And also you will uh, activate or deactivate your smart contract through this service. And also, uh, as I told you, the hub is uh, some kind of service. So in this service, you need to deploy your smart contract uh, with, with uh, some kind of plan. Let's assume uh, you have multiple chains, chain A and chain B, and need to upgrade smart contract in each chain sequentially, then how to? We will provide the plan, uh, we will provide to make a plan through Hub. So you will uh, make a plan to upgrade them sequentially. Um, yeah, the last part is, uh, Actually, it's not a last part. Uh, let's think about the problem uh, detections. Uh, Hub is also, you know, I, I told you, is a service. So uh, you want to, actually, you need to recognize or find, detect your problems, uh, program, uh, uh, programming bugs or uh, executing errors or uh, operating faults. So we, we did a traditional approach for this. It is a monitoring. Simply, um, so through Hub, you will uh, you will search logs and monitor resource usage or analyze them, and also you know you can see the blockchain states or blockchain node status. Uh, I don't know if you guys uh, know this picture. It, actually, it is uh, the uh, Elastic Kibana picture. So. We are, as I told you, we are an open source community. So we will use a lot of open source, and then we are using really a lot of open source. And also the monitoring is we are using uh, Elastic uh, Kibana. So um, now let's talk about uh, more design parts. Uh, actually, you know, I want to say in here is more like an open source spirit uh, because uh, I spent over three years to develop, uh, you know, research and develop a blockchain and D apps, many other things, but uh, I don't know how to design a blockchain software because there are really a lot of tons of possibilities: new internet, uh, new network, a new database, new games, new application. Whatever you expect, you imagine, you can make it through blockchain using blockchain. But 
effectively using the blockchain is a slightly different, but you can make it. So make your, uh, make your D apps, businesses, or our services through our hub. And release your D apps, services, and uh, you know, blockchains uh, through our whole uh, Argo marketplace. You will meet IT resources, services, uh, businesses, and also people in our marketplace. Um, Argo, Argo, we are targeting. Argo is an open source, uh, and open source uh, mantra, we call it. So I believe everybody can cook a blockchain and cook a blockchain software and application also. So feel free, come to us and show your possibility and share your ideas, share your merchandise application in our marketplace. So um, today I have only 20 minutes, yes, uh, three and a half minutes now left. Uh, so I couldn't tell you more details, technical details, uh, because lack of time. So please check our public chains and then uh, public channels, not chains, and find me or uh, here's my colleague Cameron is there. So find us if you have any question. Thank you very much. Thank you.